Remnants Rise from the Ashes is an action RPG looter shooter, and before you write it off as any other looter entering the same arena, this is actually different in the way things are implemented, designed, and the way it plays. Plus, this game is going to be free to play. This is a looter coming from Gunfire Games, the same studio who created Darksiders 2 and 3, and I believe they are involved in games such as Torchlight and Neverwinter. So this is a group of individuals who had been involved in creating loot-based games. So that resume alone and that group of experience gives us a lot of hope in what this game has to offer. And when you dive into the available information, you will also be able to see that this one is going to be a very special game. In terms of the base or surface lore, this is a story of humans trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world that is being consumed by beasts and monsters. You as a player is part of the last remnants of human survivors in different colonies across the world, and you will have to set out with other humans to hunt down these monsters and reclaim the earth. Everything you see and how you play and weapons and things you encounter in this game will be happening on Earth with Earth-based weapons. Only the monsters are the ones that are not from here. In some ways, this will feel a little bit like Warframe, Darksiders, and Hunt Showdown had a blend with each other and made a baby. This is one of the cool things that you will see about this game because it will have you hopping from levels to levels and dungeons to dungeons. So if you play games or enjoy games like Warframe, this is definitely going to feel like home. Plus, once again, it's going to be free to play. Now, at the time of this recording, there are known 100 variety of enemies in the game with 20 epic bosses to fight. And the game design also randomizes encounters, so these dungeons feel different and the encounters have to be addressed differently every single time. It has the dungeon crawler core to it, and it is where those of you who are fans of games like Torchlight, Diablo, or Path of Exiles will find this game really appealing as well. As a note from the developers, the world will change every time you jump into a play session. There is of course going to be matchmaking system, and of course you can also play with your friend. And that seems to be a very ambitious claim, but from the gameplay that we've been shown, this looks to be the case and I'm really excited for this game. So what about the progression system? How do you go from level 1 to level 1000? Is there a reason to keep on playing this game in the long term? In Remnants, you journey out as a group of three individuals. You fight monsters, clear out zones, reclaim different places, you level up, and you collect items and you craft a better and suitable gear. So if you have a specific armor set or weapon that you enjoy, getting a brand new item doesn't mean you just have to ditch the current ones and suit up with the new ones unless it's just better. The game has a way that lets you reconfigure and upgrade your weapons and armor. Your builds will be unique to dozens of ways that you can mix and match and customize your setup to your playstyle. And of course, you guessed it, there are going to be ways for you to scrap certain items that you don't need. This game will have its own unique set of bosses which will require different ways to take them down. Now I know some of you probably missed it when I said it earlier, but here comes that big question. How much will this game cost? Free. Yes, you heard it. The game is going to be free to play and it will be coming out on the 20th of August in 2019. And of course, they will have some monetization options that they will use to support themselves. But if it is as fair as the way things are in games like Warframe and some other fair monetization systems out there, then we shouldn't have a problem. Now, this game, as I said, will remind you a lot of Warframe and because it's free, that is also a bonus. You will really like this game. Remnant from the Ashes will launch on PC, Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4. Now, the recommended specs for the PC is going to be a GTX 660 Intel Core i5 running at a 3.5 gigahertz, 8 gigs of RAM on a Windows 7 and up. Now, if you're using an AMD PC, it will be an AMD FX 8320 Radeon R7 370 in terms of graphics card. Now remember, these are all recommended specs, so there are going to be huge chances that you will still be able to play this game 
on low specs PCs and you'll be able to run them, you know, if you toggle down some things and scale down some items in your settings. So there is no big reason to stress out on it as much. Now this channel, as I've announced in the past, is going to be all about that variety of content. So I will be covering this game as well and we will have some guides and some lore as well about this game on the second channel, which is known as the Lore Archive. But until that time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.